Hello, in this video we're going to talk about printer bed placement with 3D Potter printers. So, generally we highly recommend you put your own printing bed on top of the integrated print bed. So, you can attach it with clamps or some other fastening device and then once the print is done, you remove the print bed and put a new blank one on and you can continue uh, with prints. Now, with some 3D Potter printers, the print area actually extends beyond the back. So in this case, this is our uh, 10 Pro, the print area is maybe about one inch off of the back, extended. So if you want to squeeze that little extra bit of space on, you need to have a uh, print bed that goes over the edge. Even something as large as this. So this is going way over the edge on the x-axis and on the y as well. So you can even see here how much it comes over the y. So it is pretty largely extended. The only thing you have to watch out for is it's alignment with the back because when the machine homes, the y rail goes all the way back. So you need to make sure that it is not extending off the back side of the back. Uh, for attaching it, you can just use simple spring or maybe even uh, seat clamps as well, uh, we would recommend putting the clamps pretty much kind of on the corners of the back. That's kind of a good spot to do. And if you can reach it too, this, this is a good spot. So when the machine homes, this will come over, so perhaps not there. So maybe on the side, something like, like that. And so when the machine homes, this is the home position. So there you can go. You can see nothing's interfering. You could even add another clamp here is if you position the back correctly. So if you positioned it uh, before the machine homed, if you just moved that over a little bit and then pushed home all, when the Y rail moves back, you can see this won't interfere here. So there's just a couple options, a couple different ways to clamp the bat or printer bed on top of the integrated one. And that will greatly extend your print area.